Hi, in this tutorial we will learn about uh, modules. So what are modules in Drupal? Um, modules are sort of plugins uh, if you want to relate it with uh, something you have already uh, experienced. So um, in Drupal and for Drupal there are thousands of modules and Drupal is shipped with about 20 modules, 20 core modules. Um, we can see the list over here so if you want to access the list of modules then you have to go to modules in the administrative menu alternatively you, you can go to um, Drupal, your Drupal installation slash admin slash modules and then uh, you will see first module is like aggregator which aggregates uh, syndicated content which means that if you have feeds or if you have uh, feeds URL then you can copy that uh, feeds URL and uh, the website, Drupal website will start fetching the content from it. Um, about the block, it's a core module and it cannot be uh, disabled. So basically every page is built up of uh, lots of uh, regions and each region has got some content. Can content is within the block. So block is uh, like uh, a building uh, block structure. So it's really important for the website, for the Drupal. So as it says, box, uh, blocks are boxes of content rendered into an area or a region of a website or a web page. Now, uh, let's say if you want to have a blogging website, you, uh, you want to build a website in which there will be lots of bloggers and who will write some blog. So in that case, you have to enable this module. So how to enable that? You just have to click on this and then you just have to submit the um, this form. So just click on save configuration and it will be saved. So let's see um, how it looks like. So right now we have only um, two content types. First is article, second is basic page. Now, now if we'll go back, and if we will enable block then just click on save configuration and if we go to uh, add content again then we can see the blog entry so basically uh, it adds new content type called blog and the users in the Drupal website can create a new blog, blog posts and can then maintain their own blog so it is a, a sort of WordPress. You can have multiple WordPress websites into one Drupal. So Drupal is really powerful content management system. Then we have content. So uh, contact. So in case you want to have contact form. Um, so so if you are making a website of uh, some business and you want uh, visitors to contact the business, then uh, then obviously you will be needing a contact form so if enabling this will create a content form so which will help users to contact with the business owners in case you want multilingual website then you need to enable it field, field uh, SQL storage are core modules so all the modules which cannot be disabled are the core modules in case you want to start a forum website then you have to enable this one so then you can create lots of forums and then forum topics so that visitors can um, can access the website and can uh, take part in the forum discussions images the core module we have poll over here so in case you want to uh, know about the market trends if you want to ask questions and create polls then you can do that by using this one PHP filter is for um, having um, p custom PHP code within the content so it can be related to custom forums in case you want to create that without using Drupal's web forms so all the PHP uh, code will be uh, accessed or will be used uh, by using this particular input type or text mode 
statistics. So in case you want the website to, uh, to log all the access statistics of your website, so you need to enable it. And then just click on save configuration and all the modules which, we, which you checked will be, um, in, will be installed. And all the modules which you forgot to uh, enable, which were part of uh, these uh, enabled modules, then you need to click again on the save configuration to actually enable them as well. So we can see that we have a, a PHP code text format has also been created. So earlier on there was no, uh, there was only three uh, types of content type. Let's see what were they. So if you are going to basic type and we will see here that filtered HTML, full HTML, plain text and now we have PHP code. So that is because of enabling that particular PHP filter module. So modules are really important and they really help in uh, increasing the functionality and features of Drupal website. So you can see lots of modules over here and if you want to uh, install many other then you just go to drupal.org and over here you will just go to modules and let's say you, you type views then we can see lots of modules over here so let's click on views So this is one of the module which you can install. So ensure that you download the correct version of uh, um, the module. So since we are using Drupal 7, you need to install uh, Drupal 7 module. So just download this star or zip file and then extract it in the folder which we have discussed in one of the videos. So after downloading that, you need to understand what, is, what does this module do and for that you have to read these details of views module or any module for that matter. So it is saying that views for Drupal 8 will, be, will also be available very soon. So talking about all the modules available in the website in the Drupal or for the Drupal, uh, we can, if we go to the module section, we can see that, that there are about 16,710 modules uh, available for Drupal and talking about 7, version 7, we have about 10,000 modules, so you, you have plenty of modules to try and uh, average website has about 10 to 30 um, modules other than the core modules so because whenever you will install module it will um, it will make your website Drupal website slightly bulky so having uh, let's say 50 modules will actually make your website really really heavy so ensure that uh, if you are having lots of modules then your server or your web server is is uh, having good configuration or else uh, it will be very slow in processing which can be which can lead to bad user experience so going back to the website again First of all, what is modules? Modules is a sort of plugin which uh, which extend or which increase the functionality of Drupal website. Uh, we need to enable them uh, to uh, to actually use them. The if you want to download some modules files from Drupal.org, then you have to paste them inside your Drupal folder inside site slash all slash modules. Uh, that is uh, the the same process is also discussed in earlier tutorial. Now there are lots of modules, and in case you want to install any of them, and it is if it is not uh, installed or enabled already, then you have to click on these uh, checkbox. You have to enable them, and then you have to save. Uh, click on save configuration. Then so that 
that particular module will also get installed and enabled and in case you want to uninstall any module then you have to go to uninstall uh, but since uh, so there are modules which cannot be uninstalled or but which can be disabled so so in case uh, the there are modules which can be uninstalled then you have to click on or you, which you have to select from the list so how to disable any of the module so all you have to do is click on let's select ph pool then path and then overlay and then rdf and then search so we are disabling these five modules So now these modules have been disabled and if you want to uninstall these then you can also do that. So click on uninstall. So all the data is uh, removed if you uninstall any module. So ensure that you have taken the backups already and uh, you really want to perform these tasks. So this was the overview of modules uh, in Drupal and how modules are used in Drupal and what are modules. I hope this will help you. Thank you for watching the video.